Just kidding. If you happen to touch the red lasers, then you're dead. You're freaking dead. Just like this dog over here. You want to know who let the dogs out? I did. And then I whacked them in the face. Just kidding. I do not endorse any sort of animal cruelty whatsoever. Seriously. I hate it when people treat animals so cruelly. It's everywhere, and it is just sickening. Alright, let's stop talking about that and head on off to the next course. At the dog track. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs! Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them! I'm on it! Alright, time to introduce you all to a new game mechanic, and it's only used here within the first Sly Cooper game. That mechanic is racing. We're going to be racing a couple of times in the game, not sure how many exactly, I think at least three times. And each race is more difficult than the last, from my if memory serves. In this race, what you have to do is simple. Win the race and the key is yours. And that is basically what you have to do. You have to get around these vehicles somehow using the power of your driving skills and also using the turbo things that are placed throughout the track. But yeah, controls are simple. Sly already explained it, but I'll explain it again for those who, who decided to skip ahead. Controls, use the left analog stick to move the van and also use it to accelerate forward. And push the square button to use any turbo nozzles that you happen to find along the track. As for a maximum number of turbos that you can carry, I have no idea. That is pretty much up in the air. I think the maximum you can carry is 9, but don't quote me on that. Alright, second place so far, so far so good. There are no other items on the track that will hinder your progress, so no need to worry about banana peels, turtle shells, you know, the usual shenanigans that make you question this game's logic and item placement, you know? That kind of thing. Jeez, it looks like we're going to be losing this one. Dang it, yep, it's over. Man, those crummy dogs are pumping me right and left. Well, get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut, and I'll see you guys on the successful attempt and also on the final lap of that successful attempt. All right, see you all soon. All right, this guy shouldn't be too hard to pass. There we go. Now to maintain the lead. There we go! Finally did it! At least it didn't take me too many attempts. Only three attempts. So good to know. Alright, way to go, Murray. Nice work. Nice work, my friend. Nice work. We're going to be making good use of your skills once again later on. Trust me when I say that. And I think we're going to be making good use of Murray's skills once more in the next level. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Well, that could have gone better, most certainly. I mean, seriously, how could that have missed anyway? So weird. Video game logic. Yes. Damn it! Ah! That was, once again, very idiotic. Alright, let's try this once more and get going. Goodbye! Stupid dog. Let's avoid them all together. There we go, that was the simplest solution. See? Simple is the best. See, was that so hard? No. No, it wasn't. Alright, time for the next level. Murray's Big Gamble. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Well, that seems simple enough. Let's do it, Sly. Whoa! Okay, now it's time to talk about these levels. This is another rather interesting game mechanic. In this game, Murray is a big fat frickin' coward. However, in Sly 2 onward, he's not such a coward. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he took on an entire army and won. And won a frickin' war. But in this game... In this game, I just shoot a radioactive barrel and instantly kill him. <laughs> Go me! Just kidding. But as I was saying, in this game, you have to... You have to defend Murray as he makes his way towards the key at the end of the level. These levels are relatively short, but can also be very difficult. Difficult because of all the enemy ambushes, for one, and two, due to the stage obstacles, too. These stage obstacles can vary from location to location and level to level. These usually include, but are not limited to, explosive barrels, and, uh... Explosive barrels, amongst other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Also, be careful not to shoot Murray yourself, because if you do that, you'll kill him! And much like Sly, he can only take one hit. If he, hap if he happens to take a single hit, he's dead. You would think, Murray being as big as he is, you would think he would be able to take a hit or two, but nope, he can't do that. Not in this game, anyway. One more thing I will mention, too. Any Lucky Charms you have on your back, it will be carried over to Murray during these levels. So, that's some good advice right there. Goodbye, stupid dog. Yes, you are. It's a trap. Goodbye. Die! Oh, thank God. There we go. Level is complete. These levels, in my personal opinion, aren't too bad. I was just being an idiot the first time through. Eh, whatever. We all make mistakes. But anyways, level is done. And I think we got all the keys we needed. So that is excellent news. Been through all the levels around here, and we can head on our way. Yay, free lucky charm, as I nearly lose it. Alright, let's get inside the casino and get moving. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love me money, as the camera gets stuck behind a pole, but at least I'm able to see still. Bye! And how about your friend? So long, sucker! As for the second area, we need all seven treasure keys in order to gain access to a switch, which will bring down an elevator at the very front of this room. See Mugshot's ugly mug? Well, go inside its mouth and that's where the elevator is. 
But in order to open said thing, we need all the treasure keys as I stated earlier. But whatever. I was thinking he disappeared, but no, nope, not quite. Alright, let's do the next level. To the tango! Alright, thanks for the info. There is a rather interesting mechanic that we're going to be coming across, and it's also fairly common. But we'll cross that path when we get to it, which should be right up here. Yep, here well, it is. Well, well, look who just walked into my crosshairs, Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But, yeah, welcome to Levels When Carmelina is going to be pursuing you throughout. During these levels, you have to dodge Carmelita's Shock Blaster as you're making, making your way through. And of course, there are clues along the way. So don't forget to grab those as you're dodging Carmelita's Shots. Thankfully, the Shots aren't coming at you super quickly. Really. In fact, they're some of the slowest bullets I've ever seen. <laughs> Not really, but whatever. Oh, forgot to mention, in this level, we have 30 clues to find, and we're already halfway done. Believe it or not, this is one of the shortest levels in the game, and I nearly got zapped and fell off the roof. And I almost did it again. Stranger danger! Freeze, you crazy mummy! Why am I quoting The Simpsons now? I have no idea. I haven't even been watching The Simpsons reason is because I feel like watching the entire series from beginning to end. Where can I watch it? I know Hulu is a pretty good place to watch The Simpsons, but it only offers like the first five episodes or so, or even... No, not even that. Just five episodes of the current season. And that's it, even with a Hulu Plus subscription. That is stupid. Unbelievably stupid. I mean, you would think with a Hulu Plus subscription, you would have more access to more Simpsons episodes. Like, oh, I don't know, all of them? All 500 and some episodes? Eh, I could probably do some digging around online and find it elsewhere. But, uh, yeah. No need to worry about that now. I know I've seen some clips of The Simpsons. I love The Simpsons. Been watching it since I was a kid, even though I haven't watched it very much as a kid due to the content and also due to other reasons. Goodbye! Get out of here with your stupid poker face, because my poker face is greater than yours! Also, here's the vault of the level. And there are still two clues left. Where are they? Are they up here? No, they're over there. I'm being a doof. Dive! Goodbye. There we go. Level complete. Pretty much. Try five, three, two. Eh, seems simple enough. And there we go. Fault is cracked. And 30% finished. Nice. You found the blueprints for Mugshot's additions to Mesa City. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your Binocucom to get the information. Hmm, thank you. Thank you, Bentley. That is freaking awesome. How do I bring up my Binocucom again? Because I know in uh, slide 2 and slide 3, to bring it up, you push the R3 button. 
In this game, how do I bring it up? I honestly forgot. It's not select because that brings up the map. Oops. Triangle X activates your power-ups. Squares attack. X is to jump. Jesus. How do I activate it? Oh well. Let's forget about it and move on. There is one thing to be thankful about is that during these segments, when you're being pursued by Carmelita, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I think I remember now. Thankfully, during these segments, if you are one, yeah, while you're being pursued, if you happen to find the vault of the level, she won't be anywhere to be seen, and you can enter the vault code without the fear of being shot at. So that's good news and good to know. And there we go. Level is complete I'm going now. To hunt you, down, Cooper. you can't run forever. You do know you can just jump off to the next rooftop and shoot me, right? <laughs> Guess not. Eh, whatever. Okay, that level is now finished. Time to move on to the next one. And that one should be right over here. Bouncy, bouncy! Alright. Next level, straight to the top. Okay, this level, this level's uh, treasure key is right here, right here in plain sight, and in fact this is like, I think the second shortest level in the game, if not the shortest. But either way, there are 40 clues to find up here, so be on the lookout for those. The clues in this level are pretty well hidden, so keep your eyes peeled. And with the blueprints, we should be able to find the clues much more easily, but again, I can't remember how to bring up the Banaki Cobb. Goodbye. Screw your poker face. My poker face is greater than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. But uh, that's not, uh, that doesn't even come close to showing off your poker face. That's more or less for milkshakes. Dang it. Whatever. Screw you. You can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you can pull it off. Yeah, thanks, Bentley. Thank you for telling me after I climbed the dang neon pipe. Doof. I have to say, Bentley does prove his worth in the uh, future games. This game, he kind of states the obvious things repeatedly, and it's quite annoying. But, whatever. First time, I mean, it's the first game in the series, and that's kind of to be expected, but whatever. In order to continue, we need to continue our way through the neon sign, but there are plenty of clues and other collectibles to find here, so... Yeah. Go ahead and run around here as much as you can and smash everything in sight. There you'll find additional coins and sometimes even clues. So that is great news. Also good to know and it's part of your complete breakfast. Believe it or not, this thing, you can latch onto it with your cane and it'll spit out several clues. And that can be very easily missed. I'm serious, you can very easily miss out on some really easy clues. Like if you reach the end of the level and you realize, hey, I'm missing several clues. Where the hell are they? Latch onto that thing. As I said, said what? As I said, and hang on to it for several seconds and wait for all the clues to pop out. And bada bing, bada boom, there they are. Unlike coins, you don't need to worry about the clues disappearing ever. They're always going to sit there and just bounce around like it's nobody's business. 
It's that simple. That's the way the clues work. Am I going through this pole? Holy crap, I am. Video game logic. Glitches with old man snitches. You gotta love it. Sometimes it's fun to look at the oversights of which the developers just simply forget to work out when it comes to certain things and glitches. Glitches can be fun, and so are exploits, just not in online multiplayer. Because that not only ruins the fun of the game for many people, but it can also potentially get you banned at <coughs> Advanced Warfare. Cough, cough. What the hell? Okay, um, thanks game? I was looking for an invisible trampoline? Really? Weird! Everything is weird. I do things, I glitch things. What's a Sonic? Damn you. Cheap shot. Whatever. Apparently, Sonic 06 is taboo around here. It's like, Sly, don't mention that crock of shit anywhere near here. Why not? Because you'll get zapped by lightning and you'll die. Talk about a cheap shot. Jeez. Ah, whatever. Whatever, game. I'm still gonna throw you all kinds of curveballs your way and have all kinds of fun with you. Yeah, can't quite make it over there. Oh, hello. Almost forgot about you. You beautiful little breakable vault, you. <laughs> that was hilarious. Gotta love Mugshot in this game. In my personal opinion, he is one of my favorite villains of the Sly Cooper series. And I'm glad he made a return in Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. I know, foreshadowing the future. I'm a freaking beast. Okay, there's one more clue, and it should be right around here. Yep, at the very end. That figures. And the vault is all the way back here at the very end. Press the circle to enter the vault code. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 468. Heh, <laughs> that seems simple enough. And done. 33% done. Not bad. Not bad progress whatsoever. Ancestor B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Great! So, we now gain the ability to speed up time as opposed to slowing it down while in midair. This can be a useful speed run tactic, but it does drain the clock that much more quickly because you are messing around with time and space. I'm serious, that's how it works. Because it's spacey. Also, Sly is walking on air. I'm walking on sunshine! Boom, 